Hi sir, good morning sir. Yeah, good morning. So, what is your name? My name is Pinay sir. Yeah, Vinay, can I have your resume? Yes sir. Okay, fine. Okay, so before starting the interview. Yes sir. So, you can quickly introduce yourself. Sure sir. Uh, yeah. I'm Vinay sir. I'm from Karim Nagar. I have completed my graduation in BSA Computer Science in the year of 2022. Coming from my family background, we have four members in our family, including me. My my technical skills are core Java, as well as JDBC Sublays, JSP, and nowadays I am learning Spring Wars. Yeah, and okay. my short term goal is to achieve a job in an integrated company where I can gain knowledge and as well as I can explore my knowledge in that company. And yeah. my long term goal is to build an application which is useful to the students. And my hobby, sir, reading books, listening music. That's all about it, sir. Yeah, fine. So, yeah, actually, this is the technical round of Java. Yes, sir. Okay, so you are comfortable with Java, right? Sure, yes, sir. Yeah, okay, fine. So, in core Java, how can you rate yourself about 5? About 5, 4, sir. Okay, so that's a good score. So, yeah, fine. So, yeah, okay, go with the. What is an array? A group of characters. Sorry, sir. A group of like an array, it will store uh, in a form like a size. For example, in a uh, we'll go from the technical sir. Uh, like uh, arrays are two types. First one is single dimensional array and multi dimensional array. And in multi dimensional array, there is a jagged array is also there. Array is a fixed size sir. It can store only fixed sir. Like uh, if we initialize or uh, if we declare a size means like five, we couldn't able to uh, reinitialize this size. It's so fine. So you can approach first. You can see array is. Nothing but it is a non-primitive data type, okay. and it can accept the similar kind of data. So you can start uh, like you can start this. Okay. Yes, so fine. And so what are the primitive data types available in Java? Uh, there are eight primitive data types available in Java: int, long, short, byte, yeah, fine. float, yeah, fine. double, character. So yeah, okay. Whatever you said is uh, correct, Vinay. So yes. whenever you are going to uh, deals with these primitive data types, yes. so there is a specific uh, sizes, okay? Yes. So you need to start with the boolean, yes, sir. okay? Yes. So because it contains one bit, one. boolean you can start, then you can go for the byte, yes, sir. then you can go for the cat, yes. and then you can go for the short, short. and int and long, yes. and then you can go for the floating yes. types, yes. okay? So fine, uh, and then. So, what is the difference between JDK and JRE? Sir, so JDK stands for Java Development Kit and JRE stands for Java Runtime Network. Okay. JDK is used to develop the applications, which means Java applications, and JRE used to run the Java applications. Yeah, fine. So, uh, okay. So, what about the JVM? JVM is known as a Java Virtual Machine. Uh, whenever we are downloading the like uh, JDK, in the JDK itself only JRE is present, in JRE, JVM is there. JVM ka consists of libraries, like building libraries. Maybe. Fine. So you can see it is an interpreter. Interpreter, okay. So is Java is a platform independent? Yes, sir, Java is platform independent because of uh, one, uh, it follows the Vora. Vora means write once and run anyway. So better example you can say, you can uh, run at different platforms, yes, sir, different okay. operating systems. Yes, Okay, so you said that Vora is one of the future. Okay. Future. So can you elaborate the features of Java? Yes, the future are simple and robust, multi-threading and as well as a dynamic. And there are seven, ten, uh, ten features are there in that. Okay, so you can say like a robust is there robust and is there, secure is there. Okay, fine. And are you aware of the OOPS concept? Yes, sir. So First, you can go with the, what is the abbreviation of OOPS? Abbreviation. Like, what is OOPS? Uh, OOPS, OOPS stands for sir, Object Oriented Programming. Yeah, okay, uh, fine. Like, uh, in OOPS, and there are five concepts are there class, object, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. These are OOPS concepts, it consists of these five classes. Okay, so you said that five, and where is the, in, in, like, uh, you said that what is that? What is the class and class, object? object. Okay. And encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. So those are six. Six. Class and object would be in one. Yeah. Okay. 
okay so mainly we can say four pillars four pillars okay so these those are abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphisms yeah, okay so you said that inheritance yes okay so in that inheritance uh, like there is a multiple inheritance yes sir. in java can we achieve the multiple inheritance oh, no sir in java we could not able to achieve the multiple inheritance uh, to overcome that problem they introduce interface concept by interface only we can achieve multiple inheritance because yes. interface constructors are not yeah fine so is uh, interface can create a direct object no sir interface you couldn't create an object okay but i required the object for interface what i need to do uh, we can create by using the child so we can use the sub classes sub -class. we can see okay fine so uh, is interface contain body methods so like a uh, methods body no sir like uh, interface contain abstract methods abstract means incomplete methods yeah okay fine so yeah fine so what is the concept of overriding overriding like so method name should be same and the signature should be same method overriding we can uh, will go with the pro pro like a uh, practical way for example if we return a one class a parent program in that one uh, we return a method like uh, add or print in that implementation is different and child implementation is different it uh, comes under method overriding it's fine so we can say when the parent class and child class contain a same method name method. in that time generally child can access the parent yeah. but in this concept the child can override the parents yeah. method and getting their own property yes okay so how can we achieve the overloading yes so we can achieve overloading by like a method name same but uh, like in the yeah, signatures are diff uh, signatures yes. are different whenever we are after creation of our object we are calling the other methods that time we have to declare the values as per the method whatever the signatures are we initialize in that one we have to yes declare. so simply we can see changing the data types count and changing the data type yes, okay so this way we can achieve the overloading okay fine and uh, what are the access modifiers available in java yes sir there are public private protected and default okay so private class can act, uh, how much of access it can take so private it can access the only class itself yeah, okay so what is the difference between list and set yes sir list comes from the java util package and as well as set also comes from the java util package itself only and lists it will allow the duplicate that set will not allow the duplicate values yeah okay so fine we nay so i completed my hand you have any questions to ask yes sir uh, how is my interview i want to keep back on it out of time reading and i want to win the negative uh, where i can overcome this. yes uh, it's fine like uh, i need to give one suggestion yes. so i think you are perfect perfectly done with your interview but uh, i given one suggestion so you can go through with the definitions as well yes. so you are explaining like more you are co concentrating on explanation so first you need to give the definition then you can go with the definition it is uh, good for interviews okay yes. okay fine and yeah okay uh, that's all you yeah, like something you need to ask yes sir that's all sir. yeah okay you may leave thank you sir